Hi, my name is Peter. I'm the head of global marketing here at Playdat. Oh, so I'm really old school. Um, started with the Nintendo NES. Um, remember playing Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, Contra. So my mom, she loves classical music. And that's how I started playing violin. But she hates games. She hates so, and she hates TV and all that stuff. So she threw away the TV when I was young. And my best friend growing up, Josh, he had a, a Nintendo. And I would go to his house all the time to go play Nintendo. So I've seen how games have grown. They're definitely better, you know, in, in every way. I, I think a lot of gamers can, can relate to this. A, a bad thing is, is that um, they have really turned, they monetized it too much. So for example, a few years ago, you could pay up until a few years ago, you know, for a PlayStation 3 game, you could go to used store, you know, you could go to GameStop, buy a used game, sell it back, you know, and keep buying used games and selling it back, you could do that. Now everything is downloadable, so you can't really buy a used game anymore. Play to earn games, I think, I, what I, in my opinion, what play to earn games is, is, is an evolution of, of the next evolution of gaming. Um, I believe that the game industry has led innovation and in, and every step of the way. So for example, just five, 10 years ago, uh, free to play. And there was this big battle between, all oh, free to play is gonna ruin our industry. Um, but now it's norm now. All, most games are free to play now. And they led, the game industry has led that innovation. And I believe that now, um, play to earn is not another evolution of that, of the gaming industry, um, where it allows gamers to earn uh, while they're playing games. But in, a, in another way, um, they have full ownership of everything that they either purchased or created inside the game because everything is an NFT. Now what Play to Earn and Web3 has allowed game gamers and game companies to do is it gives ownership of, of the game items back to the user and allows the users to earn um, while they're playing the game. I really wish I went to G-Star when I was young um, or when I was a really hardcore gamer. Uh, I would have loved, I mean, I still love it now. I mean, it's still fun to see all the all the new games and, and cosplay and stuff. And it's, re it's really cool. But if I was maybe 20 years younger, <laughs> I would have loved it a lot more. G-Star's consumer is awesome because if you're a gamer, you know, you know, you're already a fan of the game studios. So you're always, you're following them. You, you've seen their teasers. Maybe you sign up for the pre-registrations. Maybe you've, you, you're already in the community and, and you're, they've already started pre-marketing up until the point and then they announce or they show the trailer or something. I mean, it's, it's, it's huge for, for a gamer. As a professional in the game industry, G Star, well, it's different for 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 us, is because because we're in the blockchain industry, we are looking for um, a lot of new advertising partners to grow our community. Um, so it was nice to meet with our current advertising partners to see what new ad products they had or what new um, opportunities they could give us to grow our community in different countries um, or to use uh, or to optimize our campaigns to, to get better performance. And it's nice to, to, to meet with other game companies at, at the networking meetings to hear about how they are transitioning or how, how they've already transitioned to Web3 and um, how they've turned their games into play to earn or play to own. It's another thing that, that people are, are tossing around these days is it's not play to earn, it's play to own. You play and you can own the different items, own the characters. Um, so the play to earn, play to own, play to own, these are all different evolutions of what's happening right now. And uh, it's really interesting.